Hey everybody, it's Margaret. Welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. In today's video, we're going to be talking about things at the thrift store that will kill your profit when you are trying to flip things on eBay, Etsy, or places like that to make a living or just to make a little extra money. As you guys know, I am just getting back into selling hard goods and things, so I'm really trying to be particular about the things I pick up to make sure that I am maximizing my profit based on what I'm picking up. So when we are going through the thrift store, I'm trying to look for things that I can buy low, sell high, things that hopefully aren't going to sit for too, too long. Typically, I don't really mind if they last a long time, but I just am getting restarted. So I'd like to start getting things moving. So as I'm going through here, if you're seeing anything that I missed that you would have picked up, leave a comment down below because we always learn from one another. You pick things up from me. I learn things from you in the comments, so definitely do that. And if you're new here, welcome. Go down there and hit that subscribe button if you like videos about reselling or jewelry or thrifting, things like that, you're in the right place. So as you may have noticed early on, I passed over a couple of pigs. Normally those would be things that I picked up, but they wanted quite a bit for them and I decided to go ahead and leave them behind. This is another item that I I put it in my cart. I really, really thought about it. It They wanted $10 for it. So I guess this is my first tip for being really careful about ways to kill your profit. The You got to watch those thrift store prices. Some of them are out of control. Yes, you're going to find things that you can make a good profit on, but there are going to be things that they want way too much for. And here's another example of this. This really sweet Winnie the Pooh. They want $7 for it. It doesn't have the plug. Now, this little Winnie the Pooh is selling. These are sold for, you know, around 20 bucks, 20 to 25 bucks. There are other Winnie the Poohs that also sell for a fair, fair profit. But if I took into account, if I looked at just that and said, oh, it's like 20 bucks, great. But then I have to look at how much am I buying it for? Oh, the plug is missing. I've got to buy some plugs too. So replacement plugs. By the time I've bought it, sold it, got the replacement plugs, I have really eaten into my profits. So definitely pay attention to any kind of repairs you would have to make, any kind of replacement parts you would have to buy, and then what the actual bottom line, what they're selling it for, because that will eat into your profits big time. Did I love it? Yes. But I'm trying to not buy emotionally. Like the pigs, I really liked those too. They would probably have sold eventually, but I knew they wanted way too much for them. And I didn't want to have them sitting, especially bigger stuff, sitting around in my workroom. This is another little cutie. It's a little cute dog. And this is another one of those I'm really trying hard to not buy impulsively. I'd rather walk out and kick myself later than buy something because I think it's going to do well and then end up having to re-donate it. Yeah, it's going to happen, but if I can minimize that, one, it'll keep my, you know, death pile or money pile, whatever you want to call it, in my workroom from piling up. So I picked it up, but then I did look it up. If it was new in box, yeah, it might sell for 15, 20 bucks, but there was one sold that was $5, and there were quite a few of them still up that hadn't sold yet. So definitely did not pick that up, put it back. Well, it's in my cart now, but I do end up putting it back. Yeah, my, this is at Saver. So my Savers, while I do get a, a coupon when I come in, if I donate, I get 20% off. I still, no, I, it's still quite a bit. All right, this one I thought was going to be a winner for sure. Yeah, they wanted seven bucks for this. It's a wine bottle holder penguin. Now, I did see some of these up, but there are no penguins sold. So it went back on the shelf. However, there were other animals. So if you see those, still look it up because look at this. There are other animal wine holders like this that do sell. So if you see them, like I say, look it up. But this particular one had to stay because there were none that had sold and there are quite a few still up for sale on eBay. These Himalayan uh, salt lamps, one, the, the lamps were missing, the bulbs and the cords and all that stuff, so they stayed behind. Plus, they still wanted seven bucks for them. No, no, no. I, I have been picking up a couple of them, but more the USB plug-in ones like you would take to work. 
Have I sold them yet? No, but I haven't listed them either. So <laughs> that's another way to eat into your profit. Don't list anything. Ah, the joys of getting back to work. Now, these two cats were ones that I am on the fence about wishing I bought. They wanted five bucks a piece for them. They have this kind of art deco look to them. So I really think they could have sold for good money. I did look up, I'm not sure I put the links for them in here. I didn't find these exact ones, but I did find some cool art deco cats that sold 10 bucks. I mean, like I say, I probably could have still made a good profit on them, but I really didn't want to pay that much money, especially since I'm just really getting back into it and wanting to build up my, you know, not spend money that's not there, basically. You know, you've got to start bringing in money to sell, to, to make money to buy inventory. All right, you would think Brooke Shields doll is going to be a great pickup. It's not, but there were Brooke Shields things that were, like the, the clothing by themselves were, and then like the mannequin heads for her. So it's it, like the Barbie type head that you would uh, do the hair. So another way to kill the profit is not looking at the exact item. If I just looked up Brooke Shields doll, didn't pay close attention, saw, oh my gosh, look at these, like the heads and the clothes are selling really well. They must all, all of it must sell well. No, you really got to pay attention to the exact item because just the doll, no. The head, the mannequin head, fix its hair, yes. Clothes, yes. I, uh, next, what else have I got over here? Oh, this I thought was an inkwell, which I would like to pick up, uh, be, but that was just like an Avon doodad, like an Avon cologne that looked like an inkwell. I was looking at that for me. Sometimes you gotta, I mean, look for yourself, but I mean, that's a way to kill the profit. When you're spending the money on yourself, then that can definitely <laughs> kill the profit. All right, this I thought was pretty cool, and I was like, ooh, is that gonna be authentic? But no. On the bottom, it was marked Made in China. It might have still been a really cool pickup. I don't know exactly what you would call it, though. What do you call that? And I don't know what the price was on it. It didn't seem to have a price. This was pretty cool, too. I like wooden containers. But didn't get it. Didn't get it. And, you know, I've been talking about these signs that I've been seeing, and I shared it in another video, a couple of them, I think. And then I did see y'all were talking about the commercial where they're burning the signs like these. Oh, what was it? Was it like a progressive insurance commercial or something like that? Anyway, so at first I was like, oh, this is a lot of cool stuff. But no, it's, they're not really selling that well. These fish are pretty cool. I didn't even look them up. I was so focused on looking at the signs because, you know, I'm looking for one that says lick the bowl. Life is short. Lick the bowl. I need it for my bathroom. Again, for the funnies. Uh, that I didn't even pay attention to the fish now that I'm, because those can probably do pretty well. Oh, Margaret, you're not going to find it. The lick the bowl isn't there. Spoilers. Somebody must have been getting rid of their cabin at the lake because there was a ton of uh, cabin lake type signs or else they were cleaning out their antique booth because these weren't selling one or the other. Okay, this is one of those times where I definitely kick myself. I didn't look it up. I was like, eh, meh. This bowl, okay, one, there weren't any sold, but there was only one listed and it was listed for $99.99. Here's some others, so you can be on the lookout for them. Halloween, Pyrex, just Halloween stuff, Margaret. You know better. I didn't get it. It was like 3 or $4, too. It was a reasonable pickup. These are all Halloween ones, and this is another bolo. Pyrex Butterprint Pumpkin Orange, the ones that look like uh, Amish people on it. Keep your eye out for that. Oh, that was another thing I was going to say, like with the Brooke Shields thing. When you're looking up one thing, look up what's like adjacent to it. So, or like things that are like that, things that pop up, uh, because that's, uh, now I'll know to look for that Amish Pyrex set. All right. Lake Creuset is a brand that I pick up. I love picking up Lake Creuset, but this stock pot is wrecked and I decided to not get it. They wanted, I think they wanted 15 bucks for it. I didn't share the price tag, so I, I am guessing it was it was a lot. They wanted fifteen or twenty bucks for it because they knew, I guess, that Lake Crusade can sell. But I didn't get it because it was. I mean, the inside was gross, horrible, chipped all over. 
Uh, but as you can see, I'm going to pop up some Le Creuset here so you can get a, a feel for, you know, the lids, pots, replacement pieces. This is the pot, the Le Creuset, and I didn't get it, but it, oh gosh, it was in a really bad shape. Now this is one that I'm on the fence. I did buy it. It was $10. It needs repair. And I can't decide if this is a profit killer or not because I, I spent 10 bucks. Do I get it repaired first or sell it as is? And then shipping this is going to be <laughs> really fun uh, for not me. But so now I'm just kind of like it's sitting in my workroom as one of those. That's a definite profit killer. Getting something that you're like, I don't know how I'm going to ship this. What was I thinking? What was I thinking? So now it's sitting in my workroom. There we go. But I'm trying not to beat myself up about it. I mean, we're still, we just, we have to learn as we go along. And we're always going to make mistakes. There's going to be wins and loses. Loses, losses. But yeah. So it may end up being a loss. I mean, it was 20% off. So even if I end up redonating it, I'm not going to redonate it. I'll give it away. Or I'll s send it to somebody who does stained glass. Maybe there's an art school in the area that I can donate it to for them to repair it. Yeah. All right. I want you to give me your profit killers down in the comment section. And y'all check out the comment section because I get lots of great ideas from you guys. Y'all get ideas from me. So I want to read these comments and see what kind of things you find to be profit killers at the thrift store and uh yeah I hope you enjoyed this one let me know if I missed anything as I was going along some of it was really fun and funky stuff but again I'm trying to get used to these thrift store prices I did go back to the bins today and got a bunch of stuff I am not going to bring it in from the car until I have what I've got already listed. I've decided, like, I'm not doing this to myself again. I am not going to do it where I have a piles and piles of stuff. I haven't even done haul videos. I'm like, I'm going to get these things listed before I even do a haul video. Just to get, keep me motivated, I think. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new here again, I'd love to have you subscribe. Go down there and hit the subscribe button and the bell so you're notified when I put out new videos and I will see you guys on the next one. Have a really great rest of your day. Bye everyone.